What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational. If not one of those three or all of those three, I hope you find it entertaining. I hope you find something you like about this video and I didn't just waste your time. If you are a returning subscriber or even just a returning viewer, thank you very much. I appreciate the support, I appreciate your subscription, and I appreciate your guys' comments and your likes and your shares because, you know, without you guys, my channel wouldn't grow and, you know, let's face it, anybody who's on YouTube is here to grow. So, that being said, I just wanted to jump into today's video real quick. What I'm going over to Today is why I love Herb's Lift window manager. Now there's so many different window managers you can choose from and Herb's Lift is not one of the most popular by any means. You know, um, A lot of people are going to go with your i3 window manager or your uh, DWM window manager or awesome window manager, BSPWM, um, Xmonad, uh, which by the way was my favorite up until recently. You know, I've been living in Herb's Lift now for uh, quite a few months now and it has slowly overtaken um, Xmonad as my favorite window manager and today I'm going to go over a couple reasons why. Now I might do a couple videos on this because th there's quite a bit I like about Herb's Lift, but there's also a couple things that I don't really care for. Um, I'm not going to go so far as to say I hate them because I'm not I'm not down with that whole oh I love this and then the second video I come out with says oh I hate this. Um, you know I, I like this program, I like this uh, this window manager. There's some things that I would do differently, but hey I didn't create it, so I'm using what's available to me. The person that put the effort into it um, did some things differently than I would have done them, but um, by all means, I'm not going to say I hate this window manager for any reason, um, even for uh, likes and clicks or, <laughs> you know, clickbait. So that being said, let's go over the reasons, a couple of the reasons why I like Herb's Lift. First one, and it's probably one of the biggest ones, is the configuration file. So if I open up my menu here that lists my configs that I actually edit quite often and I go to Herb's Lift, it'll bring up Herb's Lift Window Manager uh, configuration file, which is just an auto start file. Um, and basically it's just a bash shell script. And it makes things super simple to be able to get in and make changes and understand what's going on. Um, it's just got an auto start function or auto start section up here to, um, you know, set your auto start stuff like your wallpaper and your, uh, your compositor and stuff like that, your panel. Um, I've got, it's got your key bindings just right there in it. They're super simple to understand. HC keybind means Herb Client keybind, and then you put what you want it to do. Um, it's a super simple setup to be able to set up all your key bindings um, and just list them, all, list them all out easily. Um, it's got resizing, so you can resize mod control left, down, up, and right. You can resize your split, which I'll be going over in a minute because that's another one of the things I like about Herb's Lift. Um, you've got your tags, you've got your layouts. So it's only got minimal layouts. It's got, uh, I, I believe it's rows, columns, and full screen, which is fine with me because I usually don't have more than two windows open at any time. Um, so I'm not too concerned about it. If I get more than that, I usually jump to another workspace uh, because I don't really like a cluttered screen. I'm on a laptop, so I don't have the real estate that some of these guys have with these big 4K monitors that they're, you know, all, all big and fancy, you know, but... Um, I don't have that. So um, you've got your key bindings here to cycle through your monitors and cycle through your layouts. Um, your mouse key bindings here. Um, this right here, the theme section, I just have this um, if statement that actually points me to another file in my um, Herb's Lift directory uh, because I do have a configuration uh, changer. Uh, basically, change your config on the fly. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on that up here in the in the near future, so keep a watch for that. But uh, basically, this just points to pull that uh, theme from that file, as opposed to having it right here in my uh, config in my config file. Um, we've got some window rules here for floating windows for my scratch pads and my menus and stuff like that. So you can see if I open up my um, if I launch my scratch pad terminal, it's right there in the center, and it's a certain size. And if I launch my um, <clears throat> my application launcher, you can see it's right there, and it's a certain size. It follows a certain rule. My my shutdown menu is basically the same. It, it you know it, it I can I make rules for that for the size and everything. Um, my uh, menu for here for the void source packages so I know what's in the void source repos and I can just install it straight from this menu. Um, so a lot going on with this. You can do all kinds of stuff with windows. Um, you can set where you want your floating windows to open up. If you like have a dialog box that opens up from you know clicking a link in a website or something like that, you can have it open up on the side, centered, centered in the, in the uh, focused window. A lot you can do there. So um, and then down here is just the panel. Um, 
So it's just, it's a really super simple configuration file. It's easy to understand, it's easy to read, it's easy to modify, um, and so it's just a real nice, clean way to do things, and that's kind of one of the main things I like about Herb's Luft. So let's go ahead and close that uh, configuration file. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Right. I want to quit. I, didn't, I know I didn't change anything and I just hit right quit, but you know, it's kind of habit. But um, another one of the things I like about the Herbs Lift configuration or the Herbs Lift window manager is the fact that if we go in launch a terminal here and let's go ahead and clear the screen. And if you, I've said this before, but if people wonder if you're watching the video and wondering why it takes so long for my terminal to open, it's because I use Kitty and I have moving GIFs that come up instead of NeoFetch. And for me, I don't care if it takes a couple extra seconds to open my terminal if I get that kind of cool little effect up there, you know, just just because that's the kind of guy I am. So that has nothing to do with Herb's Loaf, the fact that my terminal takes a little, a little longer to open than most people like, but that's just the fact that I have a script written that runs when I open my terminals. So let's go ahead and we cleared the screen. Let's zoom in and let's CD into Herb's Lift. That's in my, oops. That's in my home Jake dot config herbs lift location and if I do an ls you can see I've got my auto start which is the main configuration file and then I have this herbs lift wm themes which is for my theme changer but this is where all my themes are located we're going to go in there in just a second I've got a layouts I've got a panel.sh I've got polybar themes I've got void polybar config and config2 and I've got my wallpaper so I have all this stuff in here basically for my theme changer so when I want to change something, it just reads different files and pulls things in from different locations in my in my directory here. But again, that's a video for another day. I will be going over that. So what I want to do is CD into Herb's Lift WM themes, and then we're going to LS, and you see I've got options and themes. So we're going to CD into options, and then we're going to clear the screen because we're getting carried away there, and we're going to do an LS, and you can see I've got black, blue, green, and orange. Well, let's just go ahead and vim into green. What's really cool about this is most window managers allow you, you know, to change colors on your borders and you know pixel size on your borders and have gaps and all that stuff. And Herb's Lift does all that as well. But Herb's Lift takes things a little, one step farther. Um, you can see I've got my theme set up here and I've got like you know my theme border active, theme border normal, all that stuff. And if I go ahead and uh, launch another window here, you can see that. I have my gaps now. Now if I close that window, you can see that it take, goes back up to full screen, no border, no gaps. Um, so one thing you can do with Herb's Lift is you can set up to have your, when you've only got one window open, there's no gaps around it and there's no border, so it's just true full screen. Which is cool, I like that. I know you can do that on other window managers too, so that's not Herb's Lift specific, but I like that about it. Um, the other thing though is if you saw when I open up another window and I have my gaps and my borders, I don't just have a border, I've got multiple borders. Uh, you can see this thin white border here is if we look over in the config file here, we have uh, theme active inner width one. So we have the theme active border or the theme border, which is a full 10 pixels wide. But then we have a theme active inner, which is one pixel, and it's right here. And we have a theme active outer, which is four pixels, and it's right here. Now we have that on normal too, the theme normal color. The theme normal border is 10, and the theme normal inner is one. I could put theme normal outer and have another border out here as well. That's a different color, but I like to have in this single uh, border on my non-active window and a double border on my active window. Um, it just kind of adds another layer of customizability to it and another way to make it a little more my own. Now if you look down here I have um, floating and I have floating border width 10 and I have floating border outer width 4 and if I actually open my um, scratch pad you can see I've got a green border on the outside of that so all my floating windows have a green border and all my um, static windows have a blue border and then my unfocused windows have a single border of one pixel of white and so again you can make those any color you want any thickness you want there's just a little bit that one more extra layer of customizability that uh, Herb's Lift offers that uh, most if not all other window managers don't I have not seen another window manager that does this. If I'm wrong on that, please correct me in the comments. Um, and maybe there's a way you can do it on others. I'm not positive, but I just like this feature on Herb's Lift. The fact that I can have two uh, window borders um, and I can make them whatever colors I want to just add to that customizability. Um, so that was what I liked about that. And so let's go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go over one more thing today that I like about Herb's Lift. And that is if we go ahead and open a terminal 
it's going to be open full screen and everything. Now say um, I want to split my screen, but I don't want to open another window. If I press mod O, that's going to split my screen over 60-40 um, in a vertical position. So I'm going to have two vertical windows, but they're both like their own screen. So I could stay in this window and you can see I can open another terminal and then I can open another terminal and they all stay on that side and if I tab through them and if I hit space I toggle through the different layouts and it's all on that one side of the screen. Now if I hit my mod key and the right key that brings me over to the other frame and if I hit enter and open up my terminal and then I can open up a browser and then I can open up a file manager so we can do Nemo just for giggles and then again I can space and I can toggle through all those and so I can have things just kind of lined up however I want. Now let's go ahead and close these out and what you do to actually kill that split then is you can see kind of I have this line right here that shows me my screen is still split well if I hit mod R then that takes away the split I'm back to one screen it's not split and we're good to go now that's pretty cool but the other the thing I like about this is if I now do um, let's say mod U and we'll split below just to make this a little easier and I like this layout and okay I want to be able to have this layout right without having to you know say this is kind of a convoluted layout and I don't want to have to um, set it up every time I log in well what I can do is I have this set up to a script to actually if I press mod shift s I get this little prompt up here in the corner that says enter the name of the new layout and so we'll do video we'll just call the layout video and we'll hit enter and then let's go ahead and I accidentally killed my video let's go ahead and kill the split and we will actually um, reload our configuration file so mod control R we've reloaded our configuration file now now if I press mod shift L look what I got right here I have in this new prompt that jumps up that says which layout I can click I can come down here and I can select video and if I hit enter you can see it brings that layout back up so I can now create whatever layout I want, I can save that layout, and then I can reload that layout from the menu whenever I want to. So that's just one more of the cool things I like about Herb's Love WM. It's the fact that I have this opportunity and this option to actually make my own layout and save it where I want it, and that way I can just bring it up whenever I want to and um, use it whenever I want to. So again, three things I really like about Herb's Lift is the configuration file. I like the way it is themed and the fact that I can have multiple borders on my windows and I like the fact that I can create my own layouts and save them however I want to, named whatever I want to, and then call them when I need to. So just three things I really like about Herb's Lift um, and hopefully you find this interesting and hopefully you find it worth a look of checking out Herb's Lift because it is definitely a contender for one of the best window managers out there and I don't think it gets enough credit. Um, I think a lot of people look at it, they just take a quick peek. Don't barely scratch the surface and then just say, eh, it's just basic window manager. It's not. It's super configurable. It's super easy to use. And it is a really great, great program. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope that uh, you can get some use out of this video. And please, by all means, go check out Herb's Lift. So enjoy your evening. God bless.